Hi there! In this video, I will show you how to create a window and door schedule in Ryan. We will dive into an architectural drawing and produce an exhaustive schedule exploring Ryan's various features that will help you create it faster. Feel free to open the template below to follow along with me. Now, let us get started. First, open your browser and go to Ryan Design. You can create a free account with your email address by clicking the sign up button in the top right corner or just log in if you already have an account. Once you are signed in, you will see the main dashboard which looks like this. You can create a new model from scratch or choose to use the pre-made drawings from Ryan's template section. Today, we will review this architectural drawing and demonstrate how to add a window and door to this layout, update them with the missing details in the window and door schedule that this model already contains, and explore how a full schedule can be created. Since we are starting from a ready floor plan, it is important to clarify this was made completely in Ryan. To learn more about creating and editing drawing, visit Ryan's YouTube channel. One of the things that makes Ryan such an incredibly easy and efficient software when it comes to creating such detailed architectural drawings is its vast resources, which are available to everyone. Scroll down to search door or window, and as you can see, each block has a purple tag here labeled family. What this means is that each block will include under it all views of the same component, that is, the top, side, and front elevation views. Let us first zoom into the area which has the missing window. Simply drag or double click the desired block to add it into your drawing. You can move it around, resize, or rotate according to your requirements. To label the window in the drawing, you can create the required shape or text and simply use the pick style tool to maintain consistent styles across your drawings. This addition of an element can now be easily carried forward into the window and door schedule. Since this window is part of a family, it means I have easy access to front and side views of the exact same window. This makes it perfect for developing a window and door schedule quickly and allows us to keep it consistent and clean. While these blocks are very handy, do not think that your choice is limited to just the options available here. You can easily create your own block from scratch or personalize one from the options available here and then use it in your drawings. Let us see how. Blocks can be created from scratch. Let us start drawing a new window block. Select the polyline tool or simply type PL and enter to begin drawing. I will draw a basic frame here, quite similar to the window block we recently used in our drawing. Once you are happy with the design, select everything, right click, and then from the drop down menu, select block. Now, if you access the library again, you will see your newly created block saved and stored right here. For demonstration purposes, I will rename it Window New One. Clicking it will now add your new block again into your drawing. Additionally, existing blocks can also be edited to create new ones. To edit this window block again, simply double click it and you will enter the editing mode. As you can see in the right hand panel, you can access the style section where you are free to change the line weights, fill in any colors, hatches, duplicate any desired features or even add new details. Here too, you can edit their shape and size by simply moving its vertices and scaling it.
While the drawing on the screen already has a window and door schedule grid, let us look at how you can make one from scratch. To start drawing the grid for the window and door schedule, you can use the line tool to draw the vertical and horizontal lines of your table. But this can sometimes cause uneven gaps between adjacent lines. Thus, to do this faster, simply activate the grid background and this automatically activates the grid snap feature. This ensures equal spacing between lines and ensures that all new lines are aligned with each other. Once made, you can group all items together if you plan to use the same format in other drawings. This lets you drop in a ready-made blank schedule anywhere, anytime. To now start filling our schedule, we first need to finish our detailed drawings. Let us first start with our newly added window. Placing the corresponding front and side views of our chosen window next to each other, we can start drawing some contextual details. Head to the toolbar at the bottom and select the dimension tool. Then click to define the start and end points of the element you want to measure and label. Once done, to clean up the appearance of the dimension lines and text, head to the style panel. Here you can adjust the size, color, font, style, line weight, arrow styles and color to make your elements fit better with the grid layout. You can also switch between the units according to your requirements. This makes the schedule both technically sound and visually informative. Let us now add the remaining dimensions. To further label your drawings, you can also use the leader tool to make necessary annotations. Ryan also allows one to create their own styles. For example, let us select this dimension and change its font size, dimension extensions, end symbols, their size and the text alignment. Then, Select the Save Style icon on the right tab. Here, I will name it My Style. Now, if you select the Styles icon in the left tab, 
you will see that this has been added to the collection of saved annotation styles. Now, you can select all the remaining dimensions and easily format them as a batch to match your edited annotation style. Let us now fill our schedule. As you can see, I have moved the elevations closer to make them fit into the designated box. You can see, however, the adjacent drawings have a slight hatch in the wall area. To match, select the required area, head to the style panel and simply fill color. Once done, let us now fill in the remaining rows in the schedule. Select the text tool and type in the element details and use pick style tool to ensure the style matches the one already used in the table. Another benefit of using RAN is that it just makes life easier by supporting metadata properties. What this means is that you can attach data to your blocks. For example, if you look at the tab to the right, you can easily attach details such as material, finish, supplier info, and then generate annotations from this data easily. Ryan also offers advanced metadata options where a tag like this can auto-generate information from a block. If you would like to find out more about how to do that, check out the in-depth tutorial on Ryan's YouTube channel. Finally, do not forget to finish up your table by adding a title for clarity. For this drawing, it is Template, Window and Door Schedule. Let us now repeat all these steps for the missing door in the plan. Now finally, your drawing is ready for presentation. You can click present at the top right corner to view this in full screen mode and the drawing is ready to be shared with your clients, suppliers and even in meetings. Place a page on the canvas and set its scale and paper size from the right hand panel. From the layers option on the left, you can select which view you want to display on the page and then set your preferred scale for the drawing. One set, 
you can either right click on the page and export it as a PDF or an image. Else, you can also head to the pages icon on the left and select to export all the pages together in PDF or image format. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I have been using Ryan Design throughout this tutorial and you can sign up for free using the links in the video description. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit like, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments and we will be happy to help. And stay around, we've got plenty more videos for you on this channel. Thanks again and I will see you in the next one.